Hello, Mythical Beasts. We want to thank all of you for watching, rating, commenting, etc., etc. Is it etc.? I don't, I don't use that word. I've eliminated it from my vocabulary. It's like, it's like ETC. Is it etc. or I say, etc.? I say... Leave a comment. That's it. That's all I had to say. No, well, thanks, thanks for watching our Perfect Bathroom Trip music video, for supporting us, for supporting independent entertainment. So are you telling them to comment and rate this video, or are you telling them to comment and rate the Perfect Bathroom Trip? That you didn't make I'm just, it clear. I'm, I'm thanking them for already commenting, rating, oh, you're, sharing you're thanking Perfect in Bathroom. Advance. For supporting us. Okay. Which, yeah, they can also rate and comment this thing. Uh, we had some things that we wanted to share with you about the Perfect Bathroom Trip song and Perfect Bathroom Trips in general, but there's only one place that I think would be appropriate to, uh, to have this type of video. And we don't have a public restroom. Well, this is somewhat of a public restroom. I mean, vagrants come in from the back door and come in here. Bright in here. It's like entering heaven, except it's really nasty. We used to share this restroom with the, uh, the people at the DWI Center which is driving while intoxicated. So we would have people who smelled of alcohol and like to drive while drunk to come and share the uh, toilet with us, which we had and no they problem with. They would come in here and drink this orange blast. That's uh, why it's like empty. But what, what we want to talk about here is some of you that are more astute than others, um, which is not saying a whole lot. I'm just kidding. Uh, they actually, you noticed on the perfect bathroom trip, that we didn't actually illustrate the perfect bathroom mm, trip. Astute. Most of you well, that pointed this out said, oh, what you, you, this wasn't the perfect bathroom trip because you guys touched the paper towel right from the beginning. You're right. That's not the perfect bathroom trip. The problem is, is that we did not have access to a public bathroom that had the proper paper towel dispenser that had a little lever on it or a lever, whichever part of the country you're from. Mm -hmm. Because that's the perfect bathroom trip, to go in and give yourself a little, dispense a little paper towel with the lever, but wait. And so then... Well, well no, you're supposed to take a paper towel, put you, use that as a barrier to pull down the lever, and then throw that paper towel away. Well, no, but it, I'm talking that there's nothing dispensed. You go in, there's no, nothing dispensed at all. You yeah. have to start by grabbing it. Yeah, but you're then right. from you're th right. that point on, that was what we wanted in the song originally, was you go and you grab it with your dirty hand that has urine on it or whatever it has on it. And then you dispense a little paper towel. But wait, you use that as a barrier when touching the faucet area. And then you go and you use it as a barrier when you're getting more paper towels for your hands. Right, because you don't want to touch anything that's like in our bathroom. Now that is not... That's not dookie. That's just uh, <laughs> that's That's like... It's a permanent the... stain. That's from the people from the DWI. Oh center. my gosh. We, we, we are not responsible for that. And I'm realizing that the way I'm holding your phone... That I could easily drop it into that toilet yeah. at any moment. Okay, why don't you just not get shot to that, first of all? Yeah, it was We're going to have to blur that out. I'm, just, I'm sorry. People also pointed out the fact that we've been on a bathroom humor stint. Let's not even talk about that. Which, we're coming out of that, but right now we're in the bathroom, so we're kind of going strong with it right now. Yeah, we are. Uh, and we got another story, right? So, basically, you're right, that wasn't the perfect bathroom trip, but we didn't have access to the perfect bathroom. So it's the near perfect bathroom trip, but that wouldn't have made a great song. So, but we've so also been thinking. Can I sit down for this? Uh, no, I do not want you to do that. We've also been thinking there may be an even more perfecter bathroom trip, and I think we witnessed it. So we wanted to tell you a story. Uh, back last year, we went to YouTube Live in San Francisco, and there were some there were some high powered stars there. And by high powered stars, I don't mean us. I mean uh, the guys from MythBusters. They were there. But we didn't get to meet them, except for when we went to the bathroom. Of course, you know, we both had to pee at the same time. So we go to the bathroom, and this is like a backstage bathroom. Uh, you know, I do my business, and then I come over, and I'm practicing the perfect bathroom trip. But I, and I'm, I'm washing my hands. And in walks one of the hosts from Mythbusters. The guy with the beret and the... Mustache. Mustache. The big mustache, yeah. yeah. He walks in goes over to a urinal, and I'm washing my hands there, and, and I kind of look at Rhett, and he's like, that's the guy from Mythbusters. So I'm thinking, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wash my hands a little bit longer and wait for him to come wash his hands so I can meet him. I get to meet the host of Mythbusters. Or at least one of them. Well, yeah, the one with the beret. The less friendly one. So I'm washing my hands, washing my hands. Oh, he's going to come over here. He does his business. He zips up, comes over. 
goes right past me and all the sinks and out the door. But this it, is the guy from Mythbusters. So you gotta give him the benefit of the doubt. Right, so we were thinking, this is a smart guy. Maybe he knows something we don't. And then we realized it. This was a perfect or bathroom trip. Don't touch anything. You know, if you're going except to except yourself. If you're going to use incorrect gra grammar, you need to say it in a way to emphasize that you realize that you're using incorrect grammar. Yeah, I know that it's not perfect or well, I'm just saying, the you know. The know that. They know, they know how But there's a lot, there's a lot of 13-year-olds out there on the internet who you kind of have to hand feed them a little bit. It's not real? It's not proper? So you have to say, perfecter, instead of just say it normal. Perfecter. There you go. That's, Is that better? That's good, like, you, that's good YouTube policy there. So it occurs to us that the most perfect-er <laughs> bathroom trip is touching nothing except yourself and only parts of yourself that rarely touch anything assuming you've taken a shower and then you cover it with like underwear and, and such you know do, do I have to spell this out for you that, that's that, that's the most clean way to, to escape the public restroom yeah. if you've showered recently touching nothing in the bathroom other than yourself assuming you don't like get your finger caught in your pee stream or something, which never never happens to me. It hasn't happened to me since I was like, you know, four. Uh, then you're, you're going to be okay. And that is the most perfect bathroom trip. Thanks the perfecter. To, thanks to the Mythbusters. The perfectest. Thanks for watching.